there is nothing more important than ensuring that we provide quality, affordable health care for every single American. The United States is a nation in the middle of a health care crisis. Almost 50 million Americans do not have health insurance of any kind. Nearly 2 million of them lost health care coverage just last year. Most of them just can't afford the high cost, and more and more employers are either cutting health care benefits or dropping them altogether. Retirees are finding it increasingly difficult to get by on Medicare alone, and many hospital emergency rooms find themselves besieged by the uninsured, sick, and injured, and face the dilemma of either treating them for free or turning them away. I think it's morally wrong that we have a we have a society that has so much. And, and uh, you know, we're the absolute leader in this world. And yet, we have people that are concerned uh, and live in fear because they don't have insurance or because their insurance is about to be cut. They're one illness away from losing their house, losing their cars, losing the savings they put aside for their children to go to school. It's a, it's a terrible situation. There's a chorus of voices out there calling for health care reform. Those voices come from every sector of our society, from business to labor to medical societies to faith communities. There's a lot of friends of labor out there. There's a lot of friends of, of just average people. There's a lot of corporations in this country that believe very strongly that employers should provide health care for their, for their workers. But they're getting to the point where they can't afford it. We have the pressures of globalization so that many American businesses are getting squeezed harder and harder as they try to compete with companies in other countries that don't even make an attempt uh, to provide uh, health care benefits. Every CEO that I know of talks about the competitive disadvantage that's being created because they have to pay an enormous amount for health care. And while they all agree that we need health care reform, they often don't agree on what kind of reform it should be. Some have put all their efforts in getting Congress to enact universal health insurance for all Americans. But that was tried early in the Clinton administration when the well-financed business, insurance, and pharmaceutical industries used their combined resources to shoot it down. We believe because there's not the political will in Washington to do it right now, to provide some kind of national reform, that we've got to move out and we've got to go into the states and get the more progressive states and get them moving and, and, and help them get health care for their citizens. And we think that will act as a catalyst to, to get uh, the federal government moving and, and to provide a national health insurance plan. In recent years, initiatives for universal health care have been roadblocked in such states as New Mexico, Oregon, and Massachusetts. In 1988, uh, Governor Dukakis filed legislation that would have uh, provided near universal coverage. It was a public-private partnership that uh, would have required most employers to cover their employees. But with the first recession, uh, the private coverage part of the legislation was repealed. In the most recent California referendum, a major expansion in health care coverage was defeated by a very narrow margin following a barrage of misleading opposition advertising. The opposition was well organized and highly financed. They were able to seize the initiative and the message with slick advertising campaigns based on fear and misinformation. They won, and average working Americans were the losers. In Massachusetts, as well as the United States, this is the absolute number one worry of uh, every voter uh, in the state. And they want action, and they want action now. It's time for a new approach, one that levels the playing field for average Americans who have the right to affordable health insurance for themselves and their families. It's time for those who support universal health care to come together and take on the opposition with effective strategies and tactics. America's Agenda Health Care for All was created to make that happen. Well, it's an, a foundation that was established uh, primarily by the UFCW to uh, uh, deal with the crisis that we have in health care in this country. It's a, it's a crime that uh, the greatest country in the world today 
uh, has 45 million people that don't have any health insurance and 5,000 people a day lose their health insurance. So that's what this foundation was set up for. To support statewide health care reform initiatives, America's Agenda will help campaigns communicate more effectively to the public by providing needed services not previously available to grassroots campaigns. Part of our task then is to create a sense uh, that in fact change is possible. Uh, and that's something that can only be done at the grassroots level. And what that means is that we're going to have to generate from the ground up, from the bottom up, uh, a set of organizations and conversations and institutions uh, that are able to galvanize people and will embolden politicians seeking votes to take a stand on this issue and not just leave it uh, on the side. Jim Duffett in Illinois, John Bowman uh, in Illinois constantly pushed for years before people like myself took up the baton and were willing to turn uh, hopes into reality. With the help and the leadership of Senator Obama, uh, who uh, was the, the chair of the Senate Health Co uh, Care Committee, uh, really kind of added and was able to help pull some of his uh, colleagues on the Democratic side to, to support this legislation. We knew we could really begin to build political power in these different congressional districts and, and building local committees, uh, local efforts to begin getting people engaged in this, this whole process. While there is a local strategy that we have to um, uh, develop and we are developing in Illinois in terms of grassroots and in a political strategy in Illinois, there also has to be a national strategy. And working with several different national organizations such as America's Agenda uh, is, uh, is vital, is vital for, for this effort. America's Agenda will provide support in three critical areas. Number one, effective communication, including accurate public information, creative use of media, crafting effective messaging, and identification of key audiences. Number two, strategic support and consultation, including strategic campaign planning, opposition research, fundraising assistance, polling, and support for public mobilization. And number three, will serve as a national strategy center for state healthcare for all campaigns, including collection and evaluation of past campaign media, analysis of past campaign experience, and will be an information clearinghouse for current campaigns. To be able to take all the lessons that it learns from the state-based campaigns to help other states uh, build on that momentum, I think will be invaluable to the country as a whole. America's agenda, healthcare for all, is a critical strategic partner in that whole process. It's a source of both information and services and skills that almost any grassroots campaign uh, desperately needs. We feel very, very good on, on, on how this process is going to unfold, where we are today, and uh, what groups like America's Agenda can, can be a valuable partnership in, uh, in our effort here in Illinois. Achieving universal health care will be a difficult task. In state after state, our opponents have spent whatever it took to defeat health care for all. America's Agenda Health Care for All is ready to provide critical skills and resources needed to turn the tide. But we can't do it alone. We're asking for your help, for the millions of Americans who face the choice between seeing a doctor and buying food, having an operation, or keeping their home. It's time to create an America where good health care truly is for all.